Hey guys, Wills here. Today I want to go over the balance change just announced for Auto Chess, set to release on April 18th at 2 a.m. Universal Time. That's April 17th at 10 p.m. Eastern Time and 7 p.m. Pacific Time. Uh, there's quite a few changes to go over, so let's just jump right in. Uh, first off, we're going to get a buff to the we Six Assassin Synergy. So currently 6 Assassin reads 20% chance to deal 400% damage and 100% chance to deal 400% damage with the first base attack after entering battle. So right now when you have 6 sins, your first sin is uh, guaranteed to do, or your first attack for each sin is guaranteed to do 400% damage and then each uh, ensuing attack has a 20% chance to deal 400% damage. Uh, this buff note, I'm pretty sure, is a typo or just uh, translated incorrectly. I believe that they're going to be buffing this 20% up to 30%. So this could make the 6 Assassin build a little bit more viable. Uh, the the classic Rainbow Sin, as it is uh, normally referred to. Play something like 6 Assassin, maybe throw in 2 Beast Synergy or 2 Horn Synergy. Or even sometimes uh, 2 Warlock Synergy. Uh, depending on... Uh, what you're facing from your opponents. Uh, the next buff is going to be to Nine Warriors. You're gonna get axed. So Nine Warriors is getting an armor buff from 16 up to 18. And when ally uh, piece is affected by the synergy received physical or magical damage, it reflects pure damage equal to the value of the piece's armor. So every time they... All they're, all they're doing here is buffing the armor. The rest of the uh, text is the same. So, uh, I mean, it's still going to be weak to the same things it's weak to and strong against the same things that it's strong to. Uh, it's just going to be a little bit stronger, I guess. I mean, I don't mind this buff because I like playing Nine Warriors. Nine Warriors is a very simple build to play, though. So, I, I do fear when Nine Warriors is too strong uh, that it makes the meta a little bit boring and stale. But I think this is fine especially because of what the next buff is. The next buff is I going to be to, be free from to four witchers, to much to everyone's chagrin. I think uh, most of us, uh, maybe I'm just speaking for myself, but I know there's other people who uh, aren't crazy about uh, the witcher metas that we've seen in the past. It seems to auto chess, the devs really uh, are in love with the witcher synergy and in particular with Fallen Witcher. I don't know why, but they can never just let this one die. So they're buffing it. Uh, I mean, they they already nerfed it from 100% uh, down to 80%. So now they're basically reverting an old nerf. Uh, this will make it strong stronger against the new Nine Warriors that are getting buffed. So maybe the Nine Warriors buff is, uh, you know, a little uh help against the thing is is the nine warriors buff doesn't actually um make a difference when your opponent is playing for witcher so they could buff the nine warrior up to like a million armor it wouldn't matter because the witcher is dealing pure damage so and now that it's 100 percent pure damage it act it, at least at 80 percent damage uh it made a little bit of a difference but now at 100 percent pure damage it makes zero difference so doesn't matter how strong your nine warrior build is uh, in terms of the armor the four witchers will just ignore it by dealing pure damage so yeah um this will counter not only the warriors but it will counter the help counter the knight uh players that knights are pretty strong right now uh, mostly because it allows you to play humans uh, and get to level 11 or level 12 pretty easily so um, I'm not excited about this, but we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't turn into four witcher spam. That's never that's never my idea of a good time, but I guess that's just my opinion on it. Uh, next thing getting a buff is an item. The erosion blades armor uh, reduction is changing from negative five to neg negative six. Uh, I mean, this item's already okay. I think we had it rated uh, as an... Uh, a tier item maybe a b tier item i'll throw up the uh, tier list here so you guys can see where we put it on our t most recent tier list 
Uh, this will make it a little bit stronger, I guess. So we'll see. Um, I guess this is uh, kind of like they're buffing the warriors, so they're going to buff this. And same with the next item that they're going to buff. They're going to buff the uh, Crystal Axe again. Preemptively to help against the 9 warrior buff. Uh, they're buffing the Crystal Axe from negative 10 armor to negative 12 armor. Uh, that's it for the buffs. Uh, the big thing happening are the nerfs. The first thing getting nerfed is dual plot. On the patch preview, the text read that it will decrease the speed after casting ability. And then on the patch notes, it actually says decrease the movement speed after casting ability. So my initial thought was that his attack rate speed was going to uh, drop each time he casts his ability. And then by the end of the fight, his attack uh, rate speed, base attack speed would be so slow that if he wasn't actually casting his ability and he was just like fighting 1v1, he, uh, his base attacks would be so slow that he, he wouldn't really be able to kill anything unless he got a super lucky martialist uh, uh, synergy proc and the unit was already below 50% uh, HP. Uh, if If it's actually what I'm thinking now with the decreased movement speed, it's almost like a reverse cannon granny effect where he's slowing down so think of it like that i think that's what it means but we'll have to see uh we'll have to test it out to be sure if that's what this uh nerf implies the next thing getting nerfed is the nine feathered synergy uh the text on nine feathered will remain the same other than the attacker phantom will now last uh six seconds instead of seven seconds and the trigger interval will be decreased from 5 seconds to 6 seconds. Uh, this will make Nine Feathered slightly weaker. Nine Feathered right now is, uh, I'd say, on the uptick the last day or two anyway. I've seen uh, an improvement in its uh, placement and uh, an increase in its play rate. I saw someone win a game with Nine Feathered, and I saw two games where people who were playing Nine Feathered finished in the top three. So... I can see maybe maybe their data is showing that Nine Feathered is uh, pretty strong right now. I still don't think it's busted or anything, so I don't know that this nerf was really needed, but uh, that's what they're deciding to do. The next thing getting nerfed, and this one I really I really can't explain why they're doing it, but they're nerfing the six cave uh, li HP boosted. Uh, the multiplier is being changed from twelve hundred to a thousand, so. This means six cave allies will have even less HP now. I don't know. Again, I'm not really sure why. To me, six cave isn't even that good right now. I do. I have watched a couple other streamers uh, play and have okay finishes with six cave, but like it really wasn't because of six cave. They had like some good two star legendaries, or they had some other synergies that were directly countering their opponent. In the six cave. Uh, was just like kind of there helping them get to the end game and give them the ability to acqu acquire the uh, you know the counters or the two star legendaries to win. I don't know. To me, this this uh, nerf seems unwarranted, but again, maybe they have some internal data that's showing that six cave is performing too well right now. So uh, the next thing getting nerfed is the panda uh, percentages. Is within the, um, so not the opposite currently uh, your panda chances are 20% for one panda 30% at for two and 30% for four uh, at one it's getting uh, nerfed down to 15% at two it's getting nerfed down to 25% and at three it will remain at 30% uh, I mean pandas are really strong right now and the thing is is that because they before, dual plot wasn't that great of a carry, but now that dual plot's such a good carry, uh, plus mage shaman is really good, uh, you can really kind of force pandas for quite a while, round 10, round 15, and just play a good support uh, uh, around them, whether it's like goblins or cave or warlock. And then depending on which of the pandas you high roll, you can go for that build. So if you're high rolling the dual plot, you go into marshalist, if you're high rolling Thunder Trace or Jade General, you go into the Mage Shaman build. I guess if you high roll Ember Blade, you could theoretically go into an Assassin build as well. And because 
of that amount of flexibility and the, all those builds being good. The Ember Blade build's probably not that good right now. It's okay, but it's not like amazing. The other builds are like the probably the two best builds in the game right now on average placement. So if you hit them, so I I do think this nerf to pandas is warranted. I personally um, am a little sad because I love to play pandas. They're so much fun. Uh, the part about pandas I hate the most is the randomness, and now it's going to be even harder to actually proc them. So. If you're a person who gets easily frustrated by bad RNG or low rolling, uh, you might want to steer clear of the pandas for a while, just for your own uh, mental health. But if you're a if you're a gambler at heart like I am, then you'll probably still keep playing them regardless of this nerf. All right, that's it for the nerfs. Now there's three adjustments. The first adjustment is to knights. The knight shield uh, percent of going off is getting decreased at two knights and at four knights and at six knights uh five percent for two knights five percent for four knights and ten percent for six knights uh six knights have been a menace in the meta lately uh so many people are are just uh forcing six knights early and then uh putting three humans and then eventually six humans and getting to level 11 or level 12 far too easily i feel like I'm not sure this adjustment will make a huge dent in that game plan since they are also increasing the HP regeneration that happens when the night shields do proc. And since it uh, has a chance to proc every two seconds, uh, any battle that lasts, you know, longer than one or two uh, waves of attack uh, because of the HP regeneration being increased, it's not that huge of a nerf or an adjustment for the knights i don't think the only thing that i think this really buffs is like dragon mage versus knights or like nine mages versus knights but that's not why knights are that good right now in my opinion knights are good right now because they're so tanky and it's so easy to to integrate humans with them and this and in the early rounds the fights last so long because you're not strong enough it's not like round nine round ten or level nine level ten where your build can deal a ton of damage uh, really quickly so because the hp regeneration is getting doubled even if it, it doesn't proc the first or second time you'll just recover now with that H extra hp so i don't think this really uh, affects the knights too much uh, the biggest thing that's going to affect the knights is the buff to the uh, witchers, which we went over earlier. Uh, the next adjustment is coming to Six Warlock. And this adjustment, to me, just reads like a buff. I'm not sure why it's called an adjustment. The, the, the only thing that's changing is that the additionally absorbed HP uh, of your enemies is going from 4.5% up to 5.5%. So... Anytime an ally warlock deals damage, you're absorbing a larger percentage of the enemy's max HP. The The amount of stacks, the 10, the 10 times, is the exact same. So I'm not sure why this is called an adjustment. Maybe they're missing some text here, and it's uh, a different part of it is getting nerfed. Maybe the ally base attack life steal will be adjusted or something. But according to this, it just seems like a straight buff to me. All right, the last thing getting adjusted is Rewind Orb. It will now uh, contain a unique passive. So for those of you guys who aren't familiar with how that works, if, a, if an item has the, the text word unique anywhere written on it, that means that it can't stack. So like if you play two Sun Chaser drums, whether you play them on the same unit or a different unit, uh, it, the ability won't stack and buff the allies twice. So if anything that says unique on it, you might as well just use a one copy of it unless you really uh, like the rest of the text that doesn't have the unique uh, word written on it. So theoretically, you can stack multiple Oblivion staffs on the same thing to increase the attack uh, percentage multiple times, but you're not going to get the 50% uh, chance guaranteed hit to stack on top of each other, if that makes sense. So 
Now with Rewind Orb, you can't play, you know, two or three Rewind Orbs on your Eclipse of Darkness uh, or on your uh, Sandbound. People were putting a bunch of Rewinds on their Sandbound, so it would go off over and over again in like Divinity uh, Sandbound or putting it on Eclipse of Darkness For those who are and uh, in the dark. Four Priest or Divinity oh. builds. Um, or even on stuff like Nightmare, you could put multiple copies on it to make it stronger in Divinity. That won't be a thing anymore. I think that nerf or that uh, change is fine. It is just a nerf though to the item, so I'm not really sure why it's called an adjustment. But all right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you can smash that like button for me, uh, it really helps the algorithm. Also, if you can subscribe, if you're not subscribed already, uh, we're getting closer and closer to a thousand subs, which is my goal. Uh, for the end of this month so i'd appreciate your help with that uh, if you guys don't know i stream on twitch every single day from 9 p.m to midnight eastern time so uh, this patch will go out um, later today uh, during my live stream so we'll get maybe a game with the old patch and then you guys can watch me uh, play some games under the uh, new patch maybe we'll uh, try some some witcher builds even though i i'm not a huge fan maybe we'll try some nine warriors i don't know uh, but you guys will have to tune in to see. Um, but yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace.